In uh, 2018, I played Sims for the first time and being very obsessed with uh, Once Upon a Time at that point and also just being one of the biggest Captain Swan Sheepers ever. Of course, I decided I wanted to build the Swan Jones house. Some of you may like to just call it the MS Swan house, but I like to call it the Swan Jones house. And lately, I've just been wanting to try it again, maybe do it a bit more accurately because I actually played the game once more since then, so now I have two times of experience in the game and I just think I can do it so much better now. <laughs> well, just, just kidding, I don't think I can do it that much better than last time, but I do have the experience from the last time I built the house that may probably be able to help me this time, but at least I found some more reference pictures of what the house looks like on the other side, so at least I think I can do it a bit more accurately than last time. But to be honest, I just really want to try it again because it was really fun the last time. So let's just get started on it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the game. And it's loading. And no thanks, I would not like a personality quiz. So I'm just gonna start out by making the characters who will be living in this house. So of course there's Emma Swan and Killian Jones, and then I want to make Baby Hope, but I'll probably make as a toddler instead. And then I also just really want to make Henry. I know that Hope and Henry wouldn't be living in the house at the same time, but it's my game, I can do what I want. So I'll make Hope as a toddler and Henry as a teenager. So, well, first of all, I'm just gonna start out by making Emma. Okay, so I'm just quickly popping in here again because I have no idea which of these to choose for Emma because I don't really think there's any of them that fits her personality in like the first few seasons. So I'm kind of thinking about how she is like in season 7 when this will probably be happening. Sims wants to build a large loving household. I think she kind of does for Henry and Hope. So I'll probably just pick that one. Don't hate me for this if you don't agree on this because I don't really even know if I agree on this. I just have to pick something because I don't think there's anything that really fits. So yeah, I'll just choose that one. <laughs> okay, so uh, the way I'm going to be making this video is I'm going to have a voiceover over most of it, but I also have some videos of me commenting on something while playing it. So it's going to be switching a bit between those two. And uh, here in the beginning, I just have a little disclaimer I want to get out of the way. I don't know what happened, but apparently my screen recording program worked a bit weirdly. If you know how to fix it, please let me know, because I would really like to fix this to next time. Um, but yeah, the mouse uh, in real life, like while I was playing, is not where it is on the screen recording. So sometimes I will be pointing at something with the mouse and I'm just pointing somewhere completely different. And when I'm clicking on something, I'm just clicking somewhere completely different. So uh, when I'm pointing at something, I will be putting an arrow in instead so that you can see what I actually meant to be pointing at and what it is that I'm talking about. Okay, so again with these personality traits, like, Captain Hook probably wants to be a famous criminal, but do Killian Jones in the future want that? That's my problem with this. I really want to pick this one, but then again, that's not at all like he is now, so I'll probably pick something else. It doesn't really matter, this video is about making the house and I'm putting way too much time as a personality trait, so I'm just gonna choose something now. So I think it's really difficult to make the characters look exactly alike in The Sims. I don't think it's actually that possible because you know you have some limited options you can do. But uh, you can make them look like have the same character characteristics as they do. And also there's not a huge variety of clothes. clothes so uh, I just tried to pick something that looked kind of alike. I don't really know how I feel about that hook jacket but I thought it looked kind of like some pirate thing. And uh, I'm just choosing an outfit for all of the different um, things you have to choose outfits for and just kind of using the same again and again if it fits because I'm just trying to choose something that they actually wear in the show. Okay, here I think they are. I know they don't look perfect. And now I'm very lucky because for Hope... I can just make her however I want, because we only seen her as a baby and we don't really know anything about her yet, so... 
that's very nice for me. So even though I could pretty much make it exactly how I wanted, I still tried to match her to Emma and Hook's style because I just wanted it to be something that they would make her wear so that it made sense in that way. Um, yeah, so I just tried to find things that I thought looked cute. And now I just need to make Henry and I'll make him as he was when he was a teen. So yeah, not young, adult, teen, or you know, a teen. Here, um, yeah. So for Henry, as I said, I decided to go for some reverence pictures of him in like the last seasons of the show. And uh, yeah, I know that this doesn't make sense in the way that Once Upon a Time does, but I just really wanted to have Henry there just to have some more characters and have some more to play around with. Also because in the show, it is Henry that is living there. So uh, that kind of references the show. And then I have hope because that references the future. So I just like to put that together. And like it's just a game, I'm just building the house. So uh, I just thought it would be fun to make both of them. Okay, so now I just need to do this and Emma, well, he's her husband and that's her daughter and son. That's wife and that's his daughter and Henry is just like household member. That sounds a bit weird. And then mother, father, brother, yeah. And... Mother, household member, and sister. Cool. I think that's it. They don't look perfect, but they look like they look. And I just want to get started on the house now, honestly. No, it's not Swan. It's Swan Jones. Oh, that's a cute picture. No, it's not. I want another picture. No. Yeah, that's cute, but a bit weird. I like that one. I like that one. They do not live in the desert, and not in, I think they probably would live, like, Storybrooke is probably kind of like this, this place. Yeah, I also think I chose this the last time. I can't remember which lot I chose the last time. I kind of feel like it was this one because it's close to the water, and I thought that would be nice for them, too, because of Hook, so he could easily go sailing. Yeah, I'll pick this one. Okay, so let's just get started on building. Okay, let's start building. So I have a lot of screenshots of the house that I can reference by, but I think I'm first going to open up the the house in uh, Google Earth because then I can see kind of how the garden is placed so I know where to start the house. So I'm just going to put the address here so you can go see the house in Google Earth for yourself. And you'll also have to go find the pictures from Once Upon a Time yourself because I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to put them in here. If you know that, please let me know because I want to know if I can do that or if I just should continue doing it like this. And this side of the house is the only one that I can't find any pictures of. And you can't really see it on Google Earth because it's up against another house. So you can't really go there. But for what I've seen, I think it's just a straight wall. And then I can probably figure out how the windows are from the pictures from inside the house. Okay, so let's start talking about the house now. As you can see, I built this a couple of times. I can't remember why, but I just probably couldn't make it look right. And uh, I was like... Trying to put the staircase in and I just couldn't understand why it wouldn't like be shorter until I figured out like you can see I, I tried to make some more levels if that would work and yeah I just didn't understand that of course I needed some kind of way for it to go up to because it just wouldn't go straight into the wall. I don't know why I didn't figure that out sooner but uh, yeah I didn't but I did figure out eventually that I had to put some platforms in for it to work and uh, I just tried to make that around uh, the house but I f because it has like this uh, little thing outside um, but I thought it was really hard to make it around that uh, that little tower there and I just couldn't get the shape to be right so that took me some time to try to do that and then later here in the video you will see that I'm just deleting everything again because I found out that you can also make foundation and that was just so much easier than making a platform underneath it all. So uh, 
yeah, when I first started this game, I had no idea about anything. But when I ended this game this time, I just knew a lot more. So I just learned a lot of cheats, like how you can e like how you can move objects freely, that you can make foundations, that you can do like. I think the only thing I knew before this was to move object one, and uh, anything else I didn't I didn't know. And also one time I closed the game down and opened it up again, and then I had forgot to turn on the move objects again, and I just couldn't understand why things wouldn't work. So yeah. It it started out bad, but it got better because I just watched so many videos doing this because I was like, you, there has to be a way to do this. And I found out in the end how to do things. See, now I actually made the foundation, I think. Yeah, I think I made the foundation there. No, now I found out how to do it. Yeah, and then I'm just deleting everything again. That's nice. Because I also couldn't get the stairs to be right, because you know, sometimes it just gets that uh, that red thing that says you can't do this and you just don't understand why you can't do it. Like one time in here I'm trying to put a staircase in and just can't understand why it, it won't be there and then it's just because there's no like, like there's no floor on the next one for it to go up to. So sometimes it makes sense, sometimes it doesn't make sense. And uh, I think after I did this, I made the staircase work how I wanted it to. Like after, because now I actually made the foundation. Now I finally got it and I just deleted everything. No, not the second and third floor because that still was fine. But just the first floor to make that better. Yeah. I'm having trouble with the staircase as you can see. <laughs> and uh, then I just started like putting on the, the painted things, like the grey colours and also trying to put a fence around because it has a fence around the, the platform thing around there and I just tried to find the right half wall for it not to be too tall and not to be too short and I pretty much just worked on the first level first and finished that completely before moving on to the, to the second and third one just to have it like figure it out and this is over here that I couldn't get the staircase to work either and I didn't understand why okay so I've just noticed that this uh, fence pattern thing has to go all the way like around the house but I don't think I don't think it's possible to make like different patterns on this wall because I tried putting a half wall in and then it just replaced the other wall so I don't know if that's even possible, so I'm not going to try to figure it out. I'm just gonna leave it like this and just continue with the rest of it. These windows are actually supposed to be black on the inside, but uh, the only ones that have the same shape are, are these ones, and I cannot get those in that color, so I'm just doing it with the brown one because that's the closest to black, probably. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, I'm just putting windows in here and uh, I had to put the windows that was actually supposed to go in the foundation on the fence because you can't put windows in foundation in The Sims. So I just put it there because there's actually a basement and I will be making that too. And I think that I then started... Oh yeah, then I started on the roof. So I just finished the roof on the first floor before even moving to the second floor. So as I said, I'm just finishing everything on the first floor to start with. And then I'm starting on the second floor. Well, I'm kind of working between the second floor and the roof on the first floor just so that it matches and that the roof won't be going into the windows and stuff like that. So for some of this I'm really just guessing because I only have a picture where you can see the the first uh, level of this house and I don't have anywhere you can see the next levels and I can kind of see it in Google Earth but only from the top so I can't really see how the windows look on this side but I know this is the this over here is kind of right but I'm not really sure about this one but I'll just do it like that. Yeah, and then I'm just working on the roof again. It was a bit difficult to make it like even out when using different kind of roofs like this. Um, but I think I got it to look alright in the end. Because I also like wanted it to look like as much as possible like 
in the show, so uh, there was a little bit different things there. I would try to match it like that, but in the end, I just had to do it like this, and I think it looks pretty much like it does in the show. So it worked out pretty great. And uh, for this corner, I just had to try a few different things because I didn't really know how to make that look good, but I figured something out by using that uh, that like corner thing corner roof and then just extending that to both sides and this is here like I couldn't get the window in because I hadn't turned on the move objects yet and uh, I just couldn't understand why it wouldn't fit there and uh, in the in the real house they used the the rooms uh, under the roof but in sims you can't really do that like you can't get up under the roof and I'm trying to do that but they can't really move all the way around in there because they can't bend down or anything but I still decided to have that like try to make it as much as a room as possible but I'm not really using it like I'm using the first two floors um yeah and then uh, they have the tower which was really difficult to make make that work um with a door in there but I'll explain more about that later um yeah, and then this roof here was really weird. It just wouldn't disappear inside of the tower. You kept being like you, like even though I got most of it to disappear, it still had the tip of it just still showing. And then just the middle of the roof was just gone. And then you, of course you can see the bottom of it. So um, I don't know what happened there. And I tried to fix it, but I just couldn't. So I kept it like that. On the real house, you kind of access this tower from here. You kind of access the tower from here. And uh, every time I remove a wall, there's just a just an empty spot. Like, there's just so I can't really remove any wall. And I also just check that I can't put a door in there because of the roof. So, yeah, it's not gonna work exactly as it does there, but. You never see the second and third uh, like level in the show, so we don't even know how that looks. So maybe this is how it looks. We wouldn't know, so I think it's okay. Right now I'm just finishing up the last roof details. I'm working on that uh, tower roof that just didn't want to work and just trying to put a door in there one last time, but eventually just decided to give up on it. And then I started to place windows. And uh, yeah, oh, that was the one window that I couldn't get in there. I thought it was the one on the second floor, but that was the one that was difficult because I had forgotten to turn off on move objects. And then just working on the rest of the roof. And finally, the staircase wanted to work. Like, I really don't understand why it didn't work this first time because I literally haven't changed anything up and now it just suddenly worked. And then I just did the roof over here and... Uh, put a window in. I didn't know you could shrink objects at this point yet, so you can see I was slowly learning. I will learn how to shrink objects later, but I didn't know it at this point. So, okay, so I think I've decided not to put these on either, because as you can see, it just goes all the way around the house, and that's not really what's supposed to happen. It's just supposed to be underneath the roof, so I'll just skip that thing, because I don't think you can really do it exactly like it is. I just tried a few more times to find something that looked right, but nothing just really looked like, like it was supposed to. Uh, so I decided to just leave it and start working on the fence. There's no gate really that looks like the one in the, in the show or on the house. So I decided to just go with one that had the same height. And then I started working on this pavement. I thought the grass looked a bit different on the real house, so I tried to change it up, but then it just looked weird with the pavement on it, so I decided to just go back to the original because they looked great together. And then just started putting bushes and trees in. They have a lot of bushes and trees here, and the trees are just really tall, which is a bit annoying because it's difficult in The Sims to look past the trees. Um, so it's kind of difficult to build in the garden with all those trees in there. Okay, so I've got two problems right now. One of them being that um, the overview in Google Earth is like different from when you look from the side. When you look from the side, it looks like the fence is going all the way around the house. But when you look from the top, you can see that there's no fence going over here. So I'll just make it with no fence because I also think that's, that makes more sense. 
And then also there's like a shed and that's supposed to be like here. Um, but this lot is not really <laughs> long enough for that. So I'll just put it here instead. And then there's also like this little pool. But I don't really think that's in there in once upon a time. So I'll probably not make that. So then I just started working on the shed. I did this before putting the trees in so I could still see what I was doing. And this uh, shed kind of had this little tower thing that was a bit difficult to make because it has this uh, height that you can get with like half walls, but then you can put a roof in there, then the roof will be like floating. And I tried to watch some videos with how you could, could do that, but I just didn't really get it. And uh, yeah, I just didn't really have the patience to keep trying to figure this out. So in the end, I just made it the, the tall version, which looked uh, weird and not like it how, was it how it was supposed to. But yeah, it worked. So I just kept it like that and then just started putting everything else on it. Uh, the shed looks pretty much like the house, so... Uh, the roof and the and the walls are the same color. Uh, the doors are a bit different, but the windows are also the same. And then eventually I put in all the trees after I did that. And as you can see, I wouldn't have been able to see anything if I put those in before. Okay, so I think that was actually all of the outside. Well, there's supposed to be like a pavement from the stairs over here to, uh, to the shed. But uh, I don't really think that would work the way I built it. Um, and yeah, then of course I need to put something on here. Yeah, I'm just gonna start building the inside now. I'm so excited for this because I just think I've been working on the outside for so long that I'm really excited to just do something different. But I think I'll start by furnitizing everything outside and then I'll move inside. So I just had to remove all the trees again because I noticed that some of them were going into the walls, like they were going inside, like through the walls. So I just had to move them far enough out so that they wouldn't do that because I just thought that looked a bit weird that they did that. And then after doing that, I just put some chairs and stuff here on the platform just because they have that. And uh, then I started, what did I do then? Oh yeah, then I started working on this staircase that goes down from here, which was really difficult because it goes down from the inside and then the door is at the bottom of it. But since the foundation is there, you can't put a door there. So uh, I just really couldn't get that to work, but I just kept trying. Okay, so I don't think this is possible to do because I just think I've been trying everything to get like a door down here but, but because of the foundation I can't really do that. So I think I'll come back to it later but for now I'm just gonna put a wall here and then put a door in there because then it's still kind of like a staircase going up there. Oh well, that, that didn't work apparently. Yeah, I'll just do it like that and then put a door in there. And uh, then it's kind of the same, just outside and not inside. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed watching the making of the characters and the building of the outside. And if you want to watch the inside build as well, you'll have to look out for next week's video, which is when that will be posted. But for now, all that's left to say is bye.